interesting facts about the aardwolf. The aardwolf, Protolus cristata, is not related to aardvarks or wolves, it's the smallest member of the hyena family. They have long, pointed ears, slender skulls, and long necks. Like all members of hyenidae, they have front legs longer than their hind legs, giving them a sloped stature. Aardwolves are found only in Africa, and have a very specific distribution. Two separate populations exist, one in southern Africa, and the other in East Africa. Aardwolves also have a distinctive mane that grows from behind their heads to the tips of their tails and black stripes running across their cream-colored bodies. Aardwolves can grow up to 31 inches in body length, with a 12-inch tail. They usually weigh less than 30 pounds. They live in the dry plains and bushland areas of southern and eastern Africa. Unlike its name suggests, the aardwolf is not related to the aardvark. It's actually a member of the hyena family. Unlike other termite feeding animals, like the anteater and the aardvark, the aardwolf doesn't dig up its prey. It lacks the claws needed for digging. Instead, it laps up termites from the ground using its long, sticky tongue. One aardwolf can consume more than 200,000 termites in a single night. Contrary to popular belief, aardwolves don't eat carrion. They are often observed picking at corpses, but they are actually eating the insect larvae and beetles that are found on decaying bodies. They have strong jaws and canine teeth, but their cheek teeth have been reduced to flattened pegs, used for eating insects. Aardwolves primarily use their canines for fighting and defense. Aardwolves are nocturnal and spend their days in underground burrows. They usually use the abandoned ends of aardvarks, porcupines, or spring hares. A mating pair of aardwolves has a home range of up to 4 square kilometer. Both sexes mark their territories with secretions from their anal glands. If another aardwolf intrudes upon their territory, they will raise their manes as a warning signal and chase the intruder away. If the intruder is caught, which happens rarely, a fight will occur. Aardwolves have two anal glands that secrete a black, musky fluid that they use to mark their territories and send messages to other aardwolves. They smear these secretions on foliage to establish territories and attract potential mates. They tend to be vocal only when confronting intruders or predators. In these cases, aardwolves may make a clucking sound, a deep growl, or a roar. Aardwolves have areas within their territories that they use for urination and defecation, called middens. Each time they visit a midden, they dig a hole, do their business, and then pile dirt on top to cover it up. They form mating pairs and help raise their young together, but males may mate with other females within neighboring territories. Males and females care for their offspring together for about their first year. When pups are small, the males guard the den while the female leaves to forage for food. Aardwolves have a particularly well-developed sense of hearing and they can hear the sound of termites cutting grass from a long distance away. When threatened or cornered, the aardwolf raises its body high off the ground, its mane and tail bristling so that its silhouette makes it appear up to 70% bigger. The musky pungent fluid can be enough to scare off a predator, such as a dog. Though termites may be abundant in an aardwolf's territory, finding them can be difficult. Aardwolves struggle to forage in the rain as they are unable to hear the sounds the termites produce. Added to this, soldier termites produce a noxious spray to deter predators. Aardwolves try to avoid the solider termites but seem to be less affected by this spray than other animals. They have a wide spoon-like tongue, which means they swallow a lot of sand when eating termites, and subsequently this can be seen in their poop. Aardwolves are prolific scent markers, leaving scent trails through their various trails in their territory. The smell of an aardwolf scent mark has been compared to particularly bad human sweat, and there is even a record of a scent mark smell lasting several years. Aardwolves are very shy and secretive, and do not do well in captivity. If a cub is orphaned before three months old, they usually do not survive, 
however if they do live, they will most likely develop a nervous disorder. Much like the other hyenas, aardwolves have an unusual walking style. This gait allows them to conserve energy when traveling longer distances. Even though they are found in some of the drier savanna areas, aardwolves rarely drink water. They are able to get all the liquid they need from the termites they eat and only when food is in very short supply, have they been known to drink from puddles and streams. Aardwolves have historically been shot and killed by farmers. This was the result of a common misconception that aardwolves preyed on livestock. Of course we now know that they are harmless to livestock. Some farmers are now leaving termite mounds on their land, as the aardwolf can keep their numbers low as well as feeding on the seasonal grasshopper nymphs which can destroy crops. Dear friends thank you all for subscribing thank you for supporting me love you.